think DP does fine in it. Yeah. Doesn't I thought like Shadow Strike harassment would win the lane. Nah, because you can uh when he level one shadow strikes you, you'll level one spirit second him. Uh, and he doesn't have blink leveled up yet, right? Gotcha. And at level two you're gonna get Crypt Swarm, so you're gonna trade out regen more effectively. So the range of Shadow Strike just isn't long enough to keep away from the Spirit yeah. Siphon. So. It's the level it's about the level one. It's like at level one you don't do that much. Gotcha. Oh that was nice by MP though. He faked out the first one, he knew that CCNC would go for the other. Then he took the last hit. Well he needs a lot of good plays like that, because right now he is suffering. Six and one, nine and two for CCNC. Uh part of late, bottom lane matchup, Roya is six and zero. 33 is still getting the necessary amount of farm, and now Febby is out of regen. Only has one mango to work with, so... Zai is gonna just zone Roya away from all this CS. Dude wants to be able to Riptide the Hellbear. Does manage to get it, but it'll take a lot of damage in return. Get out of there, dupes. They swapped everything. So now Febby is playing the, like... Skyrath, and you've got Dubu playing the Naga Siren, even though it was two games of... It was back-to-back -back games of uh, Febby Naga, right? Yeah, but I think the Naga Siren in those games was kind of more like the four position. In yeah. this game, you definitely want the Skyrath mage, right? Yeah, he's going to pair up with the uh, Void. He's your kill combo. As I tries to get the Cogs pushed back. Unable to do so. Here are Power Shots. Yeah, nothing. I, I I think nothing really comes of this lane just because of the fact that Warlock sits behind the Spectre and they always heal the Spectre, so it's kind of like one of those boring lanes. The it's Naga Siren Wind Ranger is gonna feel. Uh, you see mid, by the way. Yeah. CCNC just right clicks you. That's rough. What yeah. what in the world is Febby doing? You know what CCNC did? Well, he's oh, 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 he's just gone. All right. I, he literally ran into tower range, and it wasn't to go for the courier, so I don't know what he, the hell he was doing. Miss, click, <laughs> yeah, many of them in a row, non-stop. Yeah, I can't stop miss clicking, guys. <laughs> I'm heading into the tower. What uh, MP messed up here is that he got out regen ward. Like CCNC brought another set of tangos, uh. and that's where the majority of these issues are coming from. And you really need this mid lane to, to do well. Yeah, your like immortals. look, he's already got he's got the south coming out already, and MP's out of uh, regen. So MP needs to bring out regen for himself. But at this point, he's late to the he's late to the party. Yeah. So he'll pop his south right now. He'll mango. He'll get this DD rune, and he'll have another two tango south or uh, holstered up. Whereas if you look at MP in mid lane, he doesn't have that same luxury. And so mid mid has become so much about this: is who's gonna win the overall regen war? Because the rest of your lanes. Especially with this 2 on 2 meta, I have to also abuse the Courier as frequently as they can. Just That's what one VP shot does super of that double well. damage. Oof. VP does that probably better than like any other team. Like Courier priority, stuff like that. For I know it doesn't no seem one. like it matters. Yeah, but not just for no one. Like It's almost exclusively no one in solo that use the Courier in the beginning of the game. I know that doesn't interest like most people because it's not this like crazy high level tactic, but it is something to like pay attention to. 33. Trying to go for the bash. Rohio does manage to get one of them. Swashbuckle out though. Zai is going to be the next target of Roya's Wrath. But Cog's pushback is going to be enough. Hits Febby as well. And Febby does not have a mango to get that last nuke in. Five minute bounty runes have spawned. And they're not going to try and contest the Skyrath Mage. So Immortals will be able to get uh, three out of four this time around. And Dupu still contesting right now for some of those. And look, MP is forced to uh, come top. But Shrine's already been popped. Wait, what? So nothing doing. He used the shrine without MP. Mm. And now MP's forced to TP. That's uh, that's a good way to tilt your mid laner right yeah. there. I mean, I'd be mega tilted. I just, you wasted like 30 seconds doing nothing and you had to use your TP. Swashbuckle on Aroya. He does not have another time watch, but Zai misses the cogs. Aroya's gonna try and play into the trees. Time dilation to slow them both down. 33's actually getting bashed. <laughs> That was really well played by the Faceless Void. I thought he had misstepped there, but he realized that the time dilation would slow them all down enough that he could play that out. Now almost catches Zai as well. But uh, he's got to be careful. He doesn't have a lot of armor, and there's like 40 zombie creeps just chasing him around. 
There is going to be a fresh Pango back into the mix as well. And that top lane. Velo, 32 CS. Quite well for himself right now. Pango's having an okay time at bottom, but this time the trade's going their way as... The bright spot for Optic right now is that their mid laner, CCNZ, is up to 36. He's got 21. Roya has to blink away? Ooh. He's fine. Time walks out. That was close. If he had gotten a javelin proc, I don't think he got a single one there on Roya. He's still gonna go for it. Battery salt. Roya's gonna try and slow him down with the time dilation, but has to time nice walk the hogs. Right at the perfect time, just as time walk was coming off cooldown. Oh man. Radiant's Not what they wanted. Is under attack. So now you've got two lanes that are doing pretty well for themselves. Okay, they're gonna try and win this lane for MP finally, but CCNT is actually backed out to go take a rather late shrine for himself. He has crushed this mid matchup. It's like I said, the regen battle matters. Yeah. That's all it is. It sounds pretty simple, but it's not. You gotta be pretty active about it. Top. Going for Pycat, but again, the heal from the Warlock just offsets everything. It's a good thing the fella has such good CS out of this lane, because, uh... They're just definitely not going to be strong enough to kill this Spectre, it seems. Bebby going to be chased down by 33. Four seconds till the Swashbuckle is back up. That's going to be a lot longer now with the time dilation on the two of them. No bashes just yet. Ryo's really hoping for it as Zai is quite low. We'll be able to get the Cox push back. Now the Chronosphere locking down 33. Just takes the easy early kill onto the Pangolier. Why not? That Pango's farmed. MP shoved back time and time again. He's really hoping that this regen? is going to be eight minute rune. It is a regen, but it is bottom. Bebby's going to try and grab it though. He's going to be greedy. Concussive shot is up. He can actually kill Zai. He slows him down enough. Just keeps out of range with the regen. Stays ahead of oh, him. Oh, he's too with fast. With battery assault, CCNT is going to try and help him out. The extra nuke, Sonic Wave over the top. And that'll give MP the kill. And Bebby will walk away from the Death Prophet. Just one hit away from death. Large expenditure of mana though. Probably going to force MP back, or at least think about it. He doesn't really know what he's doing, to be honest. Yeah, he is going to go back. And this will further widen the gap in this mid lane. So this is the very good news right now for Optic, is that even though their two side lanes are dominating or anything, their mid laner is obliterating. They're doing well enough, right? Side lanes. Yeah. Bello using an early focus fire on Peter Pan. Damn, but it has to be careful. Hi, cat. Now there's 60 seconds till the next Chronosphere. 33 does now have the Pango Ball. The uh, Rolling Thunder. So, gotta be careful in our mid and top lanes if we're our mortals. Pycat does have that ulti. Just waiting it out. I'm gonna start pulling some creeps around to you. Bottom lane. Dagger comes out just to stop that clarity. Both uh, both teams are doing this, I see. Like, at a certain point, you just start cutting the creep wave and force the carry to take farm a lot of... Tower. Yeah, farm under the tower, take a lot of damage. They are going to be able to get the ensnare onto Peter. But he already has the heal on himself. Looks like he's going to be run down anyway, though. Bello, just too much damage thanks to the early phase boots. And now 33 is going to show up. Does manage to nail a Bello and will immediately cancel that to try and get the shield crash damage in, which he'll finish him off. 400 gold optimistic. for that kill. Really optimistic TP. Yeah. Still, they force the core up there. It'll allow Ryoya to continue to free farm. In fact, it looks like he's going to swap lanes for a second. It's going to allow his, uh, his Skyrath to pick up his levels so they, they can get the kill combo going. Might even be heading towards mid, potentially. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. CCNC does not have a level of silence yet, so... 33's appearance here won't be able to do anything to MP. Pops a haste rune. A little bit scared. 33 laugh at him. They're gathered with a lot of heroes in mid. That beat is six. They're just gonna go the jump. Here we go. Now they do manage to get the heal off, but that is so 
my god, MP! Let's all relax here. He didn't even get the last hit. Did Sonic Wave even hit? I don't think so. I don't think it did. I, I think, think that was like dying. way after. <laughs> that was like a beat and a half. The Ooh. hell? Ah, whatever. He uh, would love to have Sonic Wave up, I'm sure. Yeah, MP's kind of making some interesting plays right now. Well. It was a good gank. It was a fantastic gank. Good job, Ro uh, uh, Roya and the rest of Immortals. That was a good gank. Even if MP used Sonic Wave. 247 yo -Yo. They're gonna try and slow down some of these heroes. Oh. Did you just try and combine all of his various aliases into one? Absolutely, I did. Uh, is they gonna pull the creep wave? 33 actually TP'd for this. Leaving nobody at bottom lane. CCNC actually made the rotation down here. Put some pressure on this tower. It's stipping precariously low. Again, they're always leaving the Naga Siren to try and defend oh, they know the Dubu's lane alone, there. but they know where Dubu is. They found him. Any Dubu's here? Just uh, one. Just one. And that's going to be a free kill for Optic plus a tower. One Dubu here. 33 will try and protect the mid lane, not allowing MP to get too much damage with the creep wave pushing in. Meanwhile, Roya is still sticking it out in this top lane. I mean, they're trying to make the counterplay to go for that top tower to mirror. Yeah. They don't really have the same kind of tower pressure. They do have focus fire. That's not yeah. up yet. Pycat just queuing up the uh, Radiance straight up. All right. That Radiance is going to obliterate Immortals. Yeah. They have no Radiance natural heals. Tower is under attack. I, I don't know what the, the counter to that is. I think they thought they were going to slow down his laning phase more, but... Not happening. Top tower has fallen. It's still a long ways away from the Radiance. Who knows what could happen here? Bevy's gonna spot out Peter. Who was hoping to be able to get a nice, good, aggressive ward in that off lane jungle area. Instead, we'll find only death. So it'll be Zai who gets the aggressive ward down next to the ancient area. You can see under Optic attack. understand that Immortals is going to be playing on the left-hand side of the map, heading into the Dire Jungle a lot, because they're already controlling the Radiant Jungle. Much more close game, by the way. We've had, like, stomp trades this time around Game 3 delivering so far. It seems to be a pattern for Immortals as well. Every single time they lose their safe lane tower, they put one of these wards, and maybe one of these as well, to protect the wraparound yeah. into the tier 1. They wanna, I, I noticed in both games they really like to try to keep their mid tower alive as long as possible. So they they come with the pressure first. Now first you say that about most teams, but you think Immortals puts even more yeah, into it? Yeah, I think Immortals is very good about protecting that. As Zai got, has the hook shot, this should be a kill. Silence on to Velo. Won't be able to win run for long. Now they're going to have Pycat join. Zai actually did not have the mana. That's why he wasn't coxing here. So instead, they're going to go for Aurelia. Thinks better of Wait, it. What? Now trying to go for Febby. None of these heroes are oh actually God. dying. Velo's going to be able to get away. Now Spectre's right next to Avoid. Huh? Chronosphere, Skyrath Mage combination. He's silenced, but 33 did not get the angle there for the Rolling Thunder. So Roya that... blocks it off. He'll be okay. That was a disaster. Yeah, I don't... Zai, I'm not sure if he misread his mana, or... He doesn't even really need a battery assault there. He just yeah. gets the cogs off. He just pushes, like, he doesn't even trap him in the cogs, he just pushes him back with the cogs, oh, and that's a kill. They have found PVD as well. Peter does have the golems. Okay, but CCNC's coming over. He's gonna force them back. He's got four spirit level spirit siphon charges, too. This, the move is made onto 33. He might just die here, and he oh. is! What? Bell just runs him down with a focus fire. Huh? That was a lot of gold, too, that they just gave up on there. 356 to Velo. Velo has the javelin, so he is quite the threat now. Get a bunch of these bounty Hookshot, too. that's going to be a whiff. Zai is not having the same kind of game two on this clockwork. Oh, they didn't lay down the ulti, though. Was only level one shackle shot, though. Man, this is... That was an abject disaster. That yeah. top play, it ruined a lot of the flow of the game. What well, should have just been a smoke play into a core kill nets them a loss of a specter. Then they lose another hero on top of that, which forces Pycat to buy the recipe first. So there's no blade mail switch here or swerve. As Fed it's just they're finding kills everywhere. Yeah. And they're keeping pressure on this top tier too. Roya just goes to wherever the specter is. Who's supposed to kill MP? Is my question. 
it's got to be some sort of Yule Silence play eventually from CCNC. But, yeah. but he's going to get his own Yule Scepter in a second. Yeah. And it looks like CCNC almost has it. Actually, does have it completed. And he's going to load up the Aeon Disc for the Void. But pace of the game, just oh, not really favoring him. Velo, misses the Silence. They're just getting run around the map right now. Still have defended mid tower. Quite good for them. But quite the hefty cost as Royo has been free farming the bottom lane. Looks like Immortals just completely control this top lane as well. You can see Dubu's just hanging out. He either, if it's one hero, he can go for the instant and they can try and get a kill. And if it's multiple rotations, he just pops the Song of Siren. Yep. Optic know this though, thanks to the defensive vision that they have set down. They're gonna try and bring multiple heroes here. Zai lead the way. The illusion is blocking his hook shot right now, so he's having a difficult time going for anything. You see how unconcerned MP is with all of this? Doesn't even blink. Yeah. So unafraid and unaffected by any of this. All three cores on the side of uh, Immortals farming. It's a 3k gold lead for them. I got no idea what's going on. Immortals have just shown up to play today. Oh man, they're gonna have a very fast shadow blade on Roya. That's gonna be a kill on pretty much anybody on the map. Yeah. Maybe not the uh, the Spectre's only got a thousand health, and Pycat is quite far away from that Radiance. This is so. This has always historically been the awkward thing about Radiance carriers that don't have flash farm. Yeah. Is you have to make them very strong when they do get the Radiance, almost overpowered. But the build up to that point is always so dangerous. How you think die, you lose such a large amount of gold. When he died, I think he bought the, the recipe yeah. to stop from losing gold, but that also means it's that much harder to get your relic. It's such a like hefty cost, and you're holding out of so much gold. Anytime you die, you're going to lose a large chunk of that. You're going to give away a good amount of it, too. So now PyCat, because he doesn't want to lose it, is just farming the jungle. Only the jungle, never showing up in lanes. So that means all the lanes are pushed in. The side lanes are constantly being threatened by a yeah. core or two. These mobile cores, they have three mobile cores essentially. Two of them are not threatened at all by Zai, but he nice does find the one shot. that he can't bother. Locks down Velo and the silence onto the void at the same time. Now they're gonna go for the void. They think that's a more important kill. 33 is knocking around next to the cliff. That is nice. perfect for them. Now Spectre's gonna show up, is still ensnared by the Naga Siren. Looks like they tried to go on to Pycat. And he uses his ultimate as an escape away from MP and Dubu in the top lane. That was the exorcism committed. And you've got to be more careful there if you're the Void. Your, uh, your Wind Ranger was gone. He did a very good job finding separation between him, himself, and the clockwork. I think he made one of those mistakes where he assumed, like, even when he got silenced, he's like, I'll probably be fine, but... Playing Pango next to Cliffs is like the worst thing you could possibly do. And 33 is gonna die here, the oh. Sonic Wave. Mid tower almost dead as well. CCNC may be caught here. They do have the basic player. Yule Scepter though. Sai stepping up. They're gonna try and go for this tower. They don't want to let it be denied. Nice shackle shot locking down side. They're gonna try and go for the kill. Run him down with a focus fire. Easy pickup. That tower is still in deny range. The Skyrath and Velo will both stick around to be able to finish it off. Almost Take a BKB now. Take off. Yeah. And now the pressure oh, continues. Roya just killed him with a Chronosphere. Yeah. Okay, so now let's look at the Spectre. He's reset into 2k gold. And now he's just got to chill. Not a lot of reliable gold on him either. This network charge is just boosting upwards. They've just gotten multiple towers, multiple pickoffs. They back can't to fight. Back to back to back. They can't catch either. These three cores, what you see them doing is one mobile core is mid, one mobile core is bottom, one mobile core is top. There's not enough catch on the side of Optic. Your four position only catches one of those heroes. And even when he catches the Wind Ranger, you just see Velo, he's like, hit, hit, get out of the cogs, wind run away. Yeah. And so it relies, you rely heavily on this Death Prophet, but CCNC is not really put into a fair position here because he has to do too much for his team. It's like the only way you're going to catch people is if you Yule Scepter into silence, but that means that you can't ever show in lanes, but you're also your team's lane pusher because Spectre doesn't feel comfortable showing up in lane when Faceless Void has haunt. Zai does have the hook shot lands it. If they can get 33 inside the cogs, oh, it's perfect are... to be able to control. Oh, but no. he's knocked down the Indy to shield crash down. Finish him off the gold scepter. Oh they no, MP sure is gonna be caught. The golem no. bits dropped as he comes back to Earth. I think MB, uh, when he got bounced out of the cogs, I think he could have run his away opportunity. and blinked. I can't believe he stuck around like that. Right, they used a lot for that, but that was a very necessary kill. You have to punish them for splitting up like this. Yeah. Hello. Gonna go for a pie catch, shackled up. Okay, this is gonna be a little difficult. He needs a lot of procs, and Pycat just jumps over to the trees. He and needed out. 
like 20 more hits. <laughs> Still though, like that's what you want to do if you're Bellow, right? You yeah. don't need to kill him, you just need to force him away from farming. Yeah, you have to make him feel the pressure. So Pycat almost did that. He actually started his TP and then canceled it. I mean, he needs this Radiant so bad. <laughs> even, he get, even if he gets it, it's a little bit too late. But uh, it's such a different power spike when you get Radiance on a hero like Spectre. Yeah. It makes your hero so good. It's only a thousand gold away now. He wants to avoid death at all costs. Ryoyo does have uh, the Chronosphere up. Might just go for the easy kill on the Warlock, but I feel like this would be a mistake. Like, PPD, his death won't really change too much. As the Maybe you can kill him just without the Chronosphere. That's he fair. absolutely can. So it reveals the Shadow Blade, but you still have the Chrono Arm hold. Yeah. And damn, I mean, he picked up the Shadow Blade. He almost has BKB already. That'll lessen the damage that you take from the Radiance, as uh, we're now on Radiance Watch Cap. Oh boy, 900 gold away. That is still a stretch. I could see them losing the rest of these tier twos, or maybe a Roshan or something like that before it's up. Speaking of that. Unfortunately, Immortal's team isn't fantastic at doing Roshan, but they do have the map control. Pick it up. Now they're going to catch the clockwork of Psy, Naga, Siren, Skyrath, Mage. That was a kill duo that was lacking in Game 2 that Immortals had in Game 1, thanks to the Marana and the Naga Siren. So I like the fact that they have that threat again. Invisibility. CSNC does have the Aeon Disc. Well, but BKB for Velo, BKB soon for Roya. Now PyCat. It's Operation Don't Die. Just let, just be patient. Look how scared he is, even at his tower. It's like, I'm gonna absolutely make sure they're gonna rocket flare so that he has vision out there. Velo gonna get a pick up. Oh no, it's like Indiana Jones, run away from the boulder. BKB though. He's good, he's good. <laughs> India ran it. Yeah. And so does Velo. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. There's the other PKB. Team picked off what? Oh, just an easy, easy Warlock kill. Peter's not a happy camper. First of all, he's losing game three to Immortals. Second of all, he's 0-6 and 2. And his team hasn't had the opportunity to take team fights. Yeah. So how much can you really blame a five position Warlock that's running around with really no purpose until Pycat gets his Radiance. Yeah, the last time he golems was for the pickoff on NP. That was just like a pickoff, you know? Yeah, we haven't seen a good 5v5. All right, so Pycat's just AFK so by the close. tower. He's like, I'm not dying here. Squad, roll up. Everyone dive out for me. Suicide if necessary. Sai's gonna rocket flare to make confirm what they should know. Pycat might just dagger for like one CS. Call it a day. That's exactly Got what he it. does. Now he has the Radiance. Okay. Time to change the game if you're Optic. You're just 10k behind, but you have a Spectre. And you have a Radiance. Yeah. It's always been the classic, right? It's like Spectre gets rad and then he becomes a different kind of hero. Yeah. And soon you're going to have the chain stun option from 33. Where he's going the Yule Scepter. Four man smoke up, heading into Dubu. Dubu in great position. If he can actually get off the song first, no, it's going to be CC and C getting the Eagles. So My they will be able dead. to catch off Dubu, but at the same the time, if they get Roshan for free. Oh no, the Spectre! He's Somebody get it! Aegis! Roya barely managed to pick it up. The Spectre couldn't get there fast enough. Who are they going to kill? Nobody else? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. They only got that much. Now they are going to go for an exorcism push onto this tier one tower. But at the same time, Immortals had a shrine available to them, so they're not they're not in bad fighting shape. They just don't want to. They still have Chrono, and Optic know that. So that's gonna reset things a little shackle bit. Shackle time. Oh, nice positioning there from Zai. Oh, never mind. Still gets hit by the shackle shot next to the trees, just in range of this focus fire. Bang bang. Tries to go for the focus, uh the hook shot out on Peter, misses it. There's an Ags, by the way, on uh on Febby. He is quite farmed. Oh, Febby, Febby. I <laughs> clicked on Naga Siren instantly. Bebby, Skyrath Mage, Aghanim Scepter, and he's about to hit the level 15 too. Immortals, so far, so Dyer's good. The core's... The one time they punished the core was MP, and they had to lay down everything. Yeah. And he still barely so died. That is not the best sign for you. All the BKBs are about to fly in. They've almost got three. 
even with the Spectre Radiance, being in, unable to take a fight. Has we saw them in a similar position against Complexity, though. When they had the best late game hero. Yeah. For Pycat, they were able to win with that morph in the long run. But maybe they actually wanted to lose that game. Because look at Immortals go. Uh, look at that. He actually went for the Rolling Thunder duration. For uh, 33. Is it really feeling like the uh, extra disable off the two seconds is more necessary for him? Dubu in some trouble here. He's going to pop the song. Now, he does have MP nearby, but I think that would be a terrible ID. Dubu can't really get out too easily, though. There's still going to be the Yule Scepter. They still have a hook shot ready to go. MP is in biz right on top of these heroes, though. The rest of his team is about to be here. They're about to go for the Chrono Sphere. Zing! And a miss! Oh, no! Complete disaster! Bevy's gonna be caught the combination, managed to get off the double Mystic Flare, but that isn't nearly enough. CCMT is slowing down Roya, who still has that Aegis though. Bell's gonna come in, let the helping hand go straight for Peter, as with the BKB, he can just run him down with a Focus Fire. Gets a little bit of damage on his eye, but begins to back up, knowing that the Spectre with the Radiance is still something to be feared. With no Chronos here, Roya actually gets blown up. That's gonna be his Aegis gone, and MP and Bell are low enough that they cannot get there to help out Roya. Now he's gonna pop his BKB, immediately goes for the Bash, a Yield Scepter on himself, onto the Pan will allow him to be able to get away. Now the jump in from MP. Big Sonic Wave trying to get out is Pycat. Pycat gone, but he gets bashed instead. And stare up. Roya is a right clicking melee going machine, but Pycat so comes back with a second life. He buys back into this, needs to be able to pick up these kills. Roya gets away. Three seconds to the time block. Pycat's gonna be here. MP slows him down with the time dilation as well. They both jump away from Pycat. 33. Long jump. He gets Sniped. it at the tail end. But Nubby down the carry, but Febby with the die back on the Pango. He and up going down, can't stop the Pango from T being away. Oh, that was so much gold that Pycat lost. Holy cow. It was a cool move. He gets the buyback during the haunt duration at the last second, comes back in. Oh my god. Led to the kill onto Rioya, but if you just look at the fight recap, the amount of gold that they lost to make that attempt. It, Febby destroyed him. It looks so good, and then so Delayed. bad, and then so good. Zai managed to catch Febby here. He has no Mystic Flare to punish the clockwork. That was a little bit too greedy, but yeah. Still, the team fight's not really going their way. You see when Ryoya turns on the BKB, unaffected by everything. He's like, let yeah. me fight. And he did not need, apparently, to hit a Chronosphere to get some kills. No, not at all. <laughs> so just imagine if he does hit a Chronosphere next Minor time. details, minor details. <laughs> uh, I think MP now has Oh no, BKB. 33! That's not the place to be! What can I do in return? MKB now completed by the Windranger. He is... Oh, they're going to be fooled into thinking that there was a ward there. Mm. Yeah, they're pinging it. They lay down the rocket flare too. Arcane rune. Bello going to pick it up. Still not going for an Ags, curiously enough. Well, they should know the ward is here instead, so... Either. Shadow blade it up. Yo, yo. They'll know instantly. It's going to back up. MP has blinked in, though. Trying to find somebody. Sees the courier. Is he gonna blink for it? Bello wants it. They both want it. They are gonna be able to snipe it out of the air. And Sai on the south end. Might run into Dubu here. Doesn't get lit by the dagger, but Dubu's really far out by Does himself right now. Doesn't get the battery assault, but uh, thinks better of it. The rest of his team is all run away. So Immortals will just take this tier 2 bottom lane instead. Now we do have the level 20 for Roya, so he does have the time walk cast range, which is pretty important. With that long range initiation for himself. MP is going to work on a scythe, but he does have that BKB. They're going to catch CC and C. Does manage to get the instant bash. They have Aeon Disc as well as the Yule Scepter in the back line. MP goes for Peter. Does manage to catch him with a Shackle Shot on CC and two. No opportunity to Yules. Two pickoffs. They have buyback on one of them. Peter has nine gold, so <laughs> despite being under farm, he is not going to have buyback. They've got the gem. They still have Chronosphere. The Aeon Disc is on cooldown even when he does respawn, and that is significant. It means Ryoya just has to get the Chrono off. BKBs. There's not a whole lot that Optic will do to prevent that. As they get the vision on the 33. Pycat waiting for his opportunity. 
He doesn't have buyback. Remember, he used it for that haunt play. They're finally going to use their glyph. Optic, where's your angle here? Warlock coming in right now. He, he has the ulti. He's going to buy that. Inspector ultimate. Not going to be thrown just yet, but they do have the combination. Hunter Broyo, they can try to burst him. He hasn't popped the BKB just yet. And holding on to it still. This is crazy. Dead. Oh what? my god. Royo, what? Use your abilities. Use your items. Skyrock Mage going to try and blow up Sai. Oh, Sai actually shackled the pie cat. Maybe this will win the fight still for Immortals, but they start backing up. Knowing they don't have their damage healers, their cores just flee. They leave Optic side of the map. I can't believe. I... He had BKB the entire time. Tower is under attack. That is like greediness to an extreme. Like, yes, that would put you at an 8 second BKB, but that's still a lot of charge time. You could turn that fight feasibly. Oh my goodness. Now Optic, I mean, it's still 18k, so it's not the worst thing, but maybe you could have just won the game right there. I, I feel like the last... Like, there are two fights now in a row where it should have gone better for Immortals, and they keep on slipping up like this, and maybe Optic finds their yes. way back into this game. I, I don't think you min-max, like, that is, like, taking it to an extreme. I feel like sometimes... Oh. Sometimes that's what 747 does. He just... just... It's like, it's not a pub. These are professional players. They will combo their spells correctly. They will punish you. It's disappointing because that was an opportunity, right? Yeah. And you give up a kill on your Void. And now you're going to have the next round of items for Optic, potentially. Yeah. Let's not overreact, though. Or I should not overreact because they are still ahead by 18k. But if things were to happen and somehow this game, like another fight like that happens, like you might just lose your Wind Ranger here. In fact, Zai is going to find him. They yep. just land the hook shot. They're going to have 33. Stay on top of them with the rolling. That's your gem, too. Like, play. This is what happens. Things just snowball. Mortals might still be able to catch him as they run back, though. Dubu's going to run into him. They have Roya ready to go with the Chronosphere as well. Tries to go for the ensnare. Locks down Peter. Roya needs to be able to get in now, but there's too many split up targets, so they're just going to be able to get two pickoffs. That's going to be on the Warlock as well as the Panko. Now, Panko still have that Aeon Disc, but just locked down for too long. Did they get their gem back? Uh, good question. No, they did not. Zai had it. Okay. There Still is 18K. Roshan, though. All right, just go for Roshan, clean this game up. Then you can, then you don't have to use your BKB. That, at that point, I'll allow Ryoya. They spot it now with the Clockwork Sai. Now he's made some nifty maneuvers before, but he has the gem, so I'm not sure if he really wants to try for this. This would be this would be Yolo to another degree. Yeah. Maybe he gets the Roshan? Oh, he got oh, it! Oh, he did! Hey. Boy's a beast. Not bad, not bad. That's 1k off their lead. Yep. Every bit matters. Climb that mountain. 2k gold swing, right? Takes it away from Immortals. Okay. Pika just went for the early blade melt. Does have the level 20 talent, though, which is 500 health is a huge upgrade for a Spectre with the Dispersion and Blade Mail and everything. They have, they'll have both their uh, 500 health talents, which will be really nice. Oh, that's right. Death Prophet has it too, right? Yeah. So the game extends for a little bit longer. Mortals, what are, you, what are you, you just waiting for an opportunity now? Yeah. See who overextends. See if uh, Ryoya can get a pick. You're not in a huge rush. You're still up by 18k. I I just I panic. Cause, ah, it was such a good opportunity. Uh, good century place. Bro, oh, yeah, gets his frustration out on the neutral creeps. Get him. Every coin helps. Now Velo has his level 20, which is invis. So he can make a potential surprise play on a pie cat, catches him next to the trees, but 33 is going to come in and Velo may be the one in trouble when he pops his BKB and finishes off the Spectre. Nice pick up there, Febby being nailed by 33, but he, oh, his eyes actually going to opt to go for this kill with the blade mail. Febby can't turn around and just Mystic Flare him, so he actually kills himself. Slowing down side, the process allowing Dubu to be able to catch up. What? Roya is here, they actually got the ensnare, oh, okay, they have a Yule 7. They killed Velo in the back. Did he, what happened? Did he rocket or did he power shot the blade mail? Which one was it, Grant? I, he I, rocketed him? I think he may have hit the blade mail. 
He rocketed, apparently. Oh, okay. oh, man. The first one hit his BKB. The second one catches him. They do lose the gem for that, and they're smoked up. They're looking for CC and C. There is a buyback available on the Spectre, so this isn't completely disastrous or anything. Uh, they know this sentry is here. So, Roya. The CCNC? smoke breaks. He knows he's somewhere around here. He could just jump in, try and go for it, and he does. Now, CCNT has the Aeon. You have so the damage. He's going to reset. And he also has the Yule Scepter from 33 to stall up Roya. So, it looks like they should be able to get out. No losses. That is going to be the Chronosphere down. The Spectre comes back up in eight seconds. So, even though we had that fight in the top lane where Spectre got picked off, Immortals are not able to push the high ground. Yeah, things reset again. Okay. This game is somewhat getting out of reach, but you still have a Spectre. Can't stress that enough. But Immortals is playing crazy good right now. Bello especially. And everywhere on the map. This, this guy is tearing up the map. MKB is going to go for an Orchid next into the Bloodthorn. And away he goes with Optic. the Invis All bottom right now. CCNC does not have the Antis this time around. So he goes for the Jackal. John doesn't actually latch, though. Yule Scepter on himself. 33 is going to try and bail him out, but he pops the BKB and still goes for him. The Spectral Ultimate There's goes around. They're going to be able to finish off the Skyrath Mage. Bellow does manage to get away, but he couldn't get the nice hook. Oh, hook shot from Zai. Nailed him despite him being Invis, but Dubu gets the reset. Can it last long enough? They can may still be able to catch Velo here. 33 tries to get the damage. The dagger's so coming. The, the dagger's coming. He One second for the, the dagger. He gets some. Couldn't blink fast enough. Pycat will claim that kill. And now Optic are beginning to turn the game. Oh my. So the top, the bottom play when they went for the push actually mattered, huh? Scythe is going to be finished up by CCNC. Immortals, don't do, don't do yourselves like this. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. And if you're, if you're Roya especially, I think you're feeling that pressure mounting. Knowing that your mistakes may have cost something. Peter is going to be kind of stuck here. Duper realizes he found him. Sends his illusions after him. Peter's just going to go try and go for the TP out, but he's caught. Now, Zai. What else can you get? Ryo oh, has yeah. got his chrono. He can jump forward, he gets a chrono sphere. Oh no, he doesn't get CC and C. He only gets Zai. Now MP is still gonna try and slow down CC and C. He goes for the kill on Zai first though. 33. Pump faking the rolling thunder. It's not gonna intercept though. Just wants to make sure CC and C gets out. Hello. Your your base is under attack. Alright, now it's a 16k. And now and heart is completed. Ooh. And once he gets his Manta and the level 25, the game is suddenly really scary because you still do have pretty tanky or uh, pretty squishy cores on the side of Immortals. This Wind Ranger is starting to slowly top out. I think she's down to five second BKB. Yes, she is. So I asked you about this in game number one, the Dusa versus Void matchup. How do you feel about this Spectre versus Void? Hey. You have the Skyrath, so you can almost always kill him. It's just, it depends on who gets the jump off first. Right. And how sloppy it is. It, it seems like Immortal always wants to go for the jump first, but... Even in something as simple as him getting off his blade mail. Yeah. Could could change the fight. If he gets his blade mail off before, the Sky will just die. Yeah, Sky's dead. There's a lot of dispersion damage that bounces around after, too. I wonder how greedy Febby is. If you're Febby, do you take that 600 uh, Mystic Flare damage? Yes. That'll kill you. Absolutely. You have a Chronosphere. I think yeah. they're, they're, you have Chronosphere and Net. Yeah, but Naga you could side. get a Hex in 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a great argument, Blitz Dota. Says you. You would go with the gold per minute, wouldn't you? Absolutely. I'm going to carry this game. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Worthy tribute. All right, so even though you have a 17k gold lead, Optic have a pretty good lineup at fighting from behind. That's what the Death Prophet, Spectre, Warlock, like these three heroes are good equalizers. And that's why Op Immortals isn't just going for this like suicide, let's try to end the game kind of situation. Because they know they still have to be somewhat careful. Basher pick up for 33, so an extra set of disables. Dubu, Aghanim Scepter would be fantastic, obviously, to reset after the Spectre ult goes down. 
Now, every single time he's positioned like this, you can see him constantly trying to position himself to break smokes and see if he can get out in the process. Four staff away from CCNC, not going to be hit up there. You can see Broya, they he could have gone for one. a Chronosphere, but he's realized he can't go for the Death Prophet anymore. Yeah. He wants to wait. They want to wait for the next Roshan. Anyways, if you have this much map control, why wouldn't you? Why would you take a fight before that point? He's got a lot of smoke still for Optic. Uh, maybe Peter they just go for it two. anyways. I, I feel like you back out here yeah. if you're Immortals. Just send somebody to push in bottom and reset. Yeah, you got to deal with bottom because Zai is actually always pushing out one of these lanes with Rocket Flare, which is pretty smart. Zai is... The early game was really rough for him, but since then he's really come alive. Yeah. And he's making the right reads. The snipe onto the Wind Ranger was huge. The snipe onto the Roshan was also massive. He's going to send them back right now. It doesn't quite matter because uh, they're waiting on the Roshan anyways but it does kind of allow more space to farm. And that's all they need right now is time. That's what they're trying to buy for themselves. It's just constant time. NP is going to get the nullifier so he can dispel the Aeon Disc and prevent the uh, the Death Prophet. So if they, they can actually Chronosphere Death Prophet at that point. Right? NP puts the nullifier does on Does it him. not trigger no matter what? Uh, well, you can actually dispel off the Aeon Disc. I see. So he could jump in after the Aeon Disc is popped. Sick. And then... That would prevent him from also casting anything as the Chronosphere fades. And look at Optic's position right now. They're just all waiting around this Roshan. They have the same read on the game. And so what MP should do is just continue to go bottom. I would go for another wave here. Can't even spawn for a full minute here. But it doesn't matter. Optic just want to control this part of the map. Somebody's got to be sent back, though. It'll they, be the Spectre. Oh, they're smoked right on top of Ward. They're going to head over here. Immortals see that. They saw kind of the direction they were hoping for, and Immortals is going to play on a high ground next to their shrine, looks like. Yeah, and you see PyCat showing right now. Optic don't have a lot of time to make this play. The Illusions. The Illusions bump out. They may have actually bumped into something. CCNC spotted as well. He's trying to make himself a threat. 33 is going to jump and immediately nails Velo, trying to hit some other heroes. Doesn't really see a whole lot. The line. back line. The back goes straight for Peter. He's going to take him out before the gold. Now the Spectre is going to pop the ultimate. Roya holding on, seeing for an opportunity for a Chronos here. He found the real Spectre. There's the sleep. This is a great opportunity if he wants to go for this Chronosphere, but he holds on to it. He backs up, not wanting to take it with CCNC having blown the Exorcism and the Spectre ultimate down. Immortals are going to just try and get out of here. And it looks like they might just be able to do so. Dubu. He makes his successful TP out. Roya. Time walks deep into the jungle. The, the gold rock barely so Oh, they get the on him. They saw him with the rocket flare. Managed to get the scythe, the vice play. Roya is still going to try and make his way out of here, though. Another time walk. Two seconds up. Has a cheese as well as the imp is coming up you from the silver edge. And he cheese. Get out. He didn't pop any of it. They only had sentries. If he BKB cheeses there. And now Roshan is up. Optic is aware. Uh -huh. Oh, Ryoya oh, yeah. goes for the buyback now. And this is an opportunity for Optic. Yeah, the game sort of opens up again. They don't have Exorcism, though. They don't have Warlock Rock. Bevy spotted. CC and C with a haste rune. Will Ryan try and run him down? Dooku actually managed to get a force staff and they scare him away. Hook shot, Hook shot. from Zai. He's going to go for that one. Meanwhile, they managed to get a beautiful shackle shot. Locking down the two. The Chronosphere is down. Bevy might die, but these two are dead inside the Chronosphere. Pike is going to try and come in. He pops his blade mail. Bell stops attacking him as best as possible. Roya actually challenges, though. He has that cheese still. Pops it now. Still has a time lock to be able to work with as well. Pike ends up going down. He doesn't have an ultimate to be able to get back into this fight. He fights Everyone's back coming anyway, back. though. Everyone Everyone from Optic buying back. They have to contest this Roshan. They know that this is a potential game ender. They absolutely cannot give this up. Now things are a little bit flipped as Ryoyo doesn't have Chrono. The Exorcism is cooling down in 30 seconds and Warlock will come back. Won't have ulti. I think gotta get in there. Yeah, they've got Haunt though. They're gonna wait for the Exorcism, I'd imagine, and then all in commit for this. And I think this is the right idea because there's still 70 seconds on this Chronos here, there's no buyback on the Void. MP does have buyback, though. I mean, it's, it would just be game over if you gave a refresher shard to a Void, right? It'd be really difficult at this point to win it. He'd have the double BKB, too, which I think is even more important. 12 seconds till the Exorcism. They're going to try it out now. 55 seconds till Chronosphere. You're wait. You're just waiting on that. So you you've got the Exo. Time. MP, you've got to make your way over now. Bots it out with the Power Shot. He's got to go. I... 
Are they just giving up? They're just giving it up. Okay, it they're like. just giving it up. This is how you reset the game if you're optic. Oh, they're trying to make a play here. Hook shot onto Dubu. They're gonna try and blow him up. Not let him get the song opportunity to deny the rose shot. And sure enough, they do manage to get that kill. Now the Spectre Ultimate goes down. Where's he gonna jump forward to? Looks like he may just try and complete Roshan. He does not jump forward and put his life at risk. Roshan is at half HP right now, but now 33 is gonna be caught. And this just came up though. He has a swashbuckle in three seconds time. Blink up in one. He's feared up by MP. Swashbuckle away. Can't get it out. The last shot is gonna be enough. But Dubu, the sleep side of the pin. Get the song, basic fire onto multiple heroes. They almost blow him die, but he kills himself. Pycat's all living for this side. Agent picked up. Pycat managed to pick it up with the Chronosphere from Rogia. He's gonna be able to take that one bike down, but the dispersion into a the world rock. The gold is gonna save him now. Pycat gets the chase off. The chase off. He's saying him up. He's gonna be able to take down the void. He falls. A mortal oh my god, now. Pycat. Optic may have just bought their way back into this game off of an excellent Roshan fight. Everyone's clicking on the ground. Pycat gets away with two out of three. Gets the Aegis and the cheese. At the last second, gets the cheese off. Still saves the Aegis for himself. Roya, that is unbelievable. He picked up the Refresher Shard, which may be excellent if Optic allow him that opportunity, but they've got a full minute and a half to work with here. They've got a lot of time. You've almost got, you're gonna have Exorcism up before the Void is up. There's no buyback on the Naga Siren. No buyback on the Skyrath. Oh. MP does have buyback. As is, Velo actually used his. But they might just march for this and try to go for the throne. That's 76 seconds down. But it's so hard to push into the enemy base. They're like, what misstep against Velo? You lose one of your heroes without buyback. MP has to be the one in front. MP, well, he's going to be the one targeted for sure. They managed to give the Gold Scepter combination onto him with the Scythe of Ice coming in as well. Nice dodge of the Shackle Shot Force there the by High Cat with a Manta. And just, they're still up 12k and they might just lose. They have a tier two up in the top lane, so Optic can't go for Megas. Shackle shot onto 33, just trying to throw things down. Managed to take away that Aeon disc with the Mystic Flare. Right now, you're just trying to buy time for your Void to come back. They pop the Glyph. The Glyph is going to go down. Bottom lane is actually getting destroyed by creeps right now. Multiple Siege Wagons pushing into the base. So Optic just may end up trading out. CC and C is going to pop the Exorcism. This is inside the enemy base. Misses the Silence onto What's Bella. the play here if you're Optic? Are they going to go for bottom lane as well? Looks like it. Pycat plays the front line, knowing that he has Aegis and Cheese. Make sure that nobody can get close to CC and C and the rest of his team. They grab the tower. Rax will fall shortly. They don't have Glyph up. Dubu just getting chased down by this illusion right now. Bello is going to try and make about the sleep. some sort of play to catch somebody on the way out. Right, Dubu here we go. does manage to get the song. Pycat is they, There's in no, no way they land. leave Pycat alone. They're going to try and get back in here. He does have two lines. Chronosphere's already blown with the five They're going to use everything they can to be able to take off that first line. 33 is coming in, though. What a hit. Blinking in, hitting Dubu and Febby. But he can't stop Broya. He's going to go for a second Chronosphere on a Pycat, but he got off the Blade Belt this time around. He's returning so much damage. In the back lines is going to be 33, but Pycat is dead. He's dead for two minutes' time. Broya needs to be able to get out of here. CC and C is trying to run him down with the Spirit Siphon, but it's not good enough. Now you He's go back down. Two minutes now. And Look at the portals. lines being drawn. Lines being drawn into the base. They're going to catch PBD. He doesn't have buyback either. That's They're how you do it now. Optic. Oh my. Oh, this was such a scary game, but Immortals, barring any sort of disaster. I mean, there's no way Zai does it by himself. He's a good player, but he's not that good. What twists and turns this game has had. Unbelievable. Optic. They made us sweat it. Oh, did they make us sweat it? I mean, there's so many decisions, right? Like, what if they just backed off and just taken only mid lane of Brax? Yes. Oh, he got the creeps. Oh, he got the creeps. Oh, he got the creeps. That's massive. Uh, Zai, that's massive. He's delaying the game. That's 70 seconds. Oh, they hate him so much right now. He's going Zai. He is that good of a player. He is that good. Go, Zai, go. He understands his life is worth this. Absolutely. Pops the blade bail. By time. Aeon disc. He's still alive. <laughs> Rush force run run. down! Zai, he will finally fall, but his, his life is forfeit to save the game to prolong it a little longer. That might have actually just bought them enough time. I don't think they can throw in with that. There's 44 seconds left on the Spectre. PPD's about to be up. There's no boots to travel on Ryo yet. to beat down the backdoor reach, and, uh, but he can just can't. The double damage isn't enough. Trying to get closer to the tower so he can take it. He probably will with two okay, more points. Yes.
The oh. creep wave slowly filtering in PPD from behind. He wants to try to cut the creep wave. He might oh, even just rock for this. He's he is going to. Forward. He's going to delay it as well. Rogue oh is my god. Zai actually bought enough wave. time. The golem will die here. But the damage is done. The upheaval. They're just buying time for this right now. The backdoor PPD. region. Everything they can. The second rock is going to drop now. Backdoor region is still up. Melee Rax is slowly but surely dying right now. And finally backdoor region fades. Your cores, though, are respawning now. Three heroes about to be up. Immortals, they're not in the healthiest of shape. They might just go for bottom, but this might just be a little bit too greedy. Ryoya, frontlining for this right now. Zai, minutes still on a buyback, 20 seconds left. They should just give up this Rax, but they did manage to save the game, and that's the more important thing. The two supports from o Optic, they bought enough time. The tips are going out. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. I, I mean, there's Optic are still behind. They just lost two lanes of Rex, but they also took two lanes of Rex when they tried to push into the Radiant base. This game is now effectively even. Buybacks are coming off cooldown. The lanes, the Raxes, they're pretty much even. The tier two is now gone from the top lane as well, so Optic can make that final push into Megas if they like to. Zai, this late game situation, think of what he's done. He saved the game by pulling the creep wave. He lived. He made that. That was like a 40 second chase that he forced around the map. He yeah. makes it so the next creep wave PPD can just TP in. Like they're just thinking out of their minds right now. The Roshan snipe when he gets the, the rocket flare <laughs> onto the Wind Ranger. You could make a highlight video off of just this game alone. I love how I I say that like Zai's a good player, but he's not that good to just 1v5. Well, he did. He did, yeah, he actually did. <laughs> he thought of a way, he's like, okay, my cores are dead for 80 seconds. Everybody on the side of Immortals is up. How do I hold this game? And the thing is, he's got Rock and Flare, the extra damage. So he kills one creep wave and he takes another. Oh man, that's so cool. Okay, let's go. All the right. game is effectively, for the most part, reset now. If we yeah. look at the buybacks, Let's look at the statuses. It's, Who's got yeah, Optic is actually the ones who are ahead. Yes, Optic has buyback on almost everybody except for their Pango. Somehow, they should have been in like a for sure lost situation, and now they've turned it into, well, we have buybacks and you don't. Four men smoke up from Optic. Yeah, they know the situation. They know there's still no buyback on a lot of these immortal heroes. They are gonna play for the win. They absolutely should. They've been given so many different chances at this. All they have to do is catch MP. But MP is already backed off, knowing that he is the most critical player. Yeah, this Chrono's point. massive here. But even if you catch some of these cores, they do have buyback. 33 is looking to roll in. He already knocked up onto Velo. Managed to get the scythe afterwards, but Dubu intercepts with a song. How are they going to be able to hard reset this one? They managed to get the Insane on the back line, so they're going to try and blow up Peter Pan Dan, but he does manage to get off the Aeon Disc. A procs as he MP, takes one damage. Gotta be MP. careful here. Pops the BKB, tries BKB to get out. Blinks away, trying to get the golem down to be able to catch him. But uh, now the Spectre ultimate. They know MP does not have the immediate blink, but he gets another one off. 33 just couldn't slow down these heroes. Dubu's gonna be caught on his way out. Doesn't he have does the buyback. Not have buyback. And they go back in for this oh, nice big chrono. Man, three man chrono sphere. Meanwhile, Bell goes straight for 33. Sonic wave on top of all these heroes. And the AoE shatter strike on PyCat as well as Zion. Yeah, yeah, he's himself on Blade Mail. He does have a buyback, but they must kill PyCat now. MP needs this kill desperately. They're going to be able to catch CC and C. He's already dead. The big carry of PyCat is keeping himself alive. PyCat, the warlock. TP in field. three seconds. They're looking for him. MP. MP. He's You're got just along the side. One second. Does it get the fear? Good catch. He is dead. They will be forced into buybacks as well. Fantastic. And Velo gets the ultra kill, but that was a team effort. Immortals, they could just force the buybacks. Their buybacks, two minutes to refresh onto MP. Doesn't have the gold for it quite yet. Look at it. He's trying to use the golem to keep the waves pushed in as much as possible. Yeah, peep the support duo cutting the wave, trying to do what they can. Six seconds? No, oh, it's not even close, Velo. No. Destroys that golem. He gets the 200 gold for it. Refresher orb now for Roya, and he just spotted that Roshan is up. You are tempted to go for that, but at the same time, you want to force Optic to buy back. You really want to force Optic to buy back. Otherwise, you're just put in the same position where you have to win a team fight. And remember, they had to commit the buyback on the void for that, just yeah. to win that fight and keep it even. 50 seconds. They want to at least get Mega Creeps out of this. But they're pinging inside the base. MP does really good right-click damage. He can, by himself, put some pressure on this as soon yeah. as the backdoor protects This time they've got a creep wave on them. His eye's not sniping this one. Yeah, they're going to go for the Megas. They should be aware that Optic have buyback. Spectre with the buyback. 
They're gonna try and hold on to the rest, but now the hook shot already in. They're just gonna push back MP. They're not making a grand entrance here. Just reset right now. Immortals. Now they forced one buyback, but I think they still need Roshan to even out this game. Yes. The but buyback's if... available on the on the DP, but if you kill once, as they're all they're making their way over right now. Okay, but Dubu's in great place to intercept instantly. Song as soon as he sees this the is how you save the game. Hold them in place. Roshan is guaranteed tomorrow. The Spectre hunt. Pycat's in for it. Spectre. He might be able to get it. Agent's already been picked up. Vela managed to grab that one. The Pycat. three cores live. Pycat. He wasn't able to get anything out of that. Dubu is dead as a result, though. They had to use the haunt for that. Dubu will be completely okay with this. Yeah. And the support play from both sides. Dubu, he knows that the enemy side is coming over. Vela was low. They reset the game once again. They've got the Aegis onto their void. They've got three chronos. No, they don't. They've got three chronos, though. Well, okay, he's got cheese, though. He can't actually get three chronos. I can't believe they gave it to Velo. Velo has buyback. I mean, I think everyone was just... They were just like, clicking, clicking, yeah. Like, Everybody was like, whatever you can get, get it. It was like a potluck. What'd you get? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't trade away the Aegis. Like you can the, the shard triple of cheese. Uh, does he even... I mean, he could he could cheese for it, so... Yeah, he's fine. He could cheese. Uh, he could intel treads. That would probably get him What a game. Well. Insane. Either one of these teams wants to be in the loser's bracket. Both of them want to be able to play for that spot at TI today. I believe we're playing the upper bracket match after these two. Oh, There's been man. so many mistakes on both sides, but... And it's just a stressful, hectic yeah. game, right? It's still savable. I mean, PPD and Zai trying to pull it together. <laughs> Peter's now got a Vlad's. Any other items? I think he's, are... this is like the potential, like, well, I can't build anything better. Yeah. Uh, if we somehow get mega creeped, this is this is how you do it. Is there anything else game changing that you spotted? Uh, there's an Abyssal Blade on 33, but I think he's had that. Yeah, he's had that for a little while. I think everyone's uh, got an o Aeon Disc on Zai's relatively recent. Um, Bloodthorn Silver Edge combo for MP is something to look out for, obviously. That Doom combo. The Son of Doom. The oh, Son somebody of Doom. smoked? Yep. Four men smoke up with an Arcane Root on the Wind Ranger. There is buyback in 50 gold for uh, this Queen of Pain, and that's why MP gonna jump up here. Just farm this out real quick. With, between the CDR and the Arcane Root, he actually almost has back to back shackle. Yeah. Let's see how they set up this fight, Ryoya. You've got the double ult. You know that PyCat doesn't have that buyback. That's why he's gonna send the illusions in first. Try and bait it out. Hope for the best. Bello poking up, but they know. And instead, he's just going to go for the tower. He's got the Aegis. He's going to be the frontliner here. Doing a lot of damage to this tower. Might just nab it. Optic doesn't seem that interested in defending for the tower. And Bello going to get emboldened by this. And Here's the hook shot. Get the hook shot. Golems in back lines. They can make sure they blow up Bello. The take away that Aegis. 33 goes to the hit. He managed to catch Dubu with this Yule's combination inside of the cogs. His Bello with a BKB turning, trying to go for CC and T. Gets out of line. Down. MP does manage to take down Peter. 30 oh, yeah. A little bit out of position here. Aeon Disc going to be activated. Trying to shield crash up the hill, but it's already been silenced up. Won't be able to make it out. Mystic Flare. Here's Hex. CC and T. Starting to get anything forward. on. Now the Spectre comes forward. Roya does manage to get away. Here's the heal. This is the Spectre counter right now. The Haunt not doing too much. They Everyone's still full HP. have three Chronospheres. But he's been silenced. He does have the BKB. It's going to be matched up now. Spear oh, yeah. goes for that first one. Chronosphere only locking down 33. CCNT runs into it, but he's not taking the damage. He's got the second one. He's now got Pycat. Goes for the damage. Goes for the buyback with the Bystick Flare. Pycat, he's getting blown up. Couldn't get off the That's gonna do it. He has no buyback at CCNT. Now left against a swarm of immortal heroes who are pushing into his base. They are going to take this game. Immortal. The third Chrono. A back and forth game. The third Chronosphere will eliminate Optic. Out of this upper bracket, they will head down to the loser's bracket. Immortals, unbelievable.